In this demonstration, we're going to set up synchronous long distance remote copy replication. And in order to set up synchronous long distance, we're going to need three three par systems. We're going to have synchronous replication between two of these systems, and there will be uh, either within the same data center, uh, which is in my case, uh, or they could even be metro distances apart. You have to maintain the synchronous copy replication uh, requirements of 2.6 milliseconds. The third system will be an asynchronous periodic replication uh, to a remote system, and again, meeting those requirements for async. Um, so let's go ahead and get that set up. I've already logged into three arrays. I do already have a volume that's configured <coughs> uh, that we'll be uh, using for this demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to go to remote copy. going to start a new configuration. It's a little bit of a slideshow on VPN inning into a uh, remote uh, system, so uh, bear with me as, the, uh, as it takes time for everything to paint. So here's the topology we're going to be selecting, synchronous long distance. <clears throat> this pulls up three systems, and I'll pick which system will be which. Now I already know which ones I have uh, zoned for for uh, fiber channel synchronous replication and which ones are going to be using IP. So let's go ahead and get those picked. Here's my primary system. We'll, uh, we'll call this um, system A and then my secondary system and I will have uh, synchronous replication between these two, A and B, and then my C system right here I will have asynchronous replication going to that system. Notice they're all running 312, except for this guy here, which is running 313. Okay, so grabbing my fiber channel connections here, we'll link those up. And get this one up. Just drag and drop to the two interfaces that are zoned together. Now I have synchronous paths between A and B. Now I just need to pull in the asynchronous paths, and I will be running asynchronous between A and B. Oh, no, pardon. Between A and C and B and C. So I've got synchronous between A and B, and asynchronous between A and C. And then we need a backup link. So I'm going to go from here to here. And then from here to here. There we go. So this is a node pair, 0 and 1, 0 and 1. And here's where I'm going to define those systems, which one's going to be primary, which one's going to be secondary, synchronous mode, and which one is going to be synchronous periodic, asynchronous periodic. Five minutes. Then we just give it a remote copy uh, group name. Say three bar chunky, um, synchronous long distance, demo. Click add. What's the definition here? Next. And here's where we're going to select our volumes. Now I've got volumes already created that we'll use on all three machines. So I'll select my A volume, my B volume, and my C volume. This helps us define which volume is which so that when it's replicating we'll know which one is the primary. And then we'll select Add. And close it all down here. Next. Our summary. We'll click finish and it'll just take a few moments to build it all out.
all that should be done. Let's go full screen here. And we'll select the groups. Recent tasks, so we can see when things happen. Okay, so what we have here is our A system is set up to uh, replicate to our B system synchronously, and our A system to replicate to our C system asynchronously. And we can see that it's currently running, and our primary volume is A, which is our primary system. So if I select this. To give us the status here, and now we'll take a few moments to get synced. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, while that gets done. So here we can see that our sync synchronous volume is now sync. So this is 65, which is this guy here. So we have synced up the volume between A and B. And now we're waiting for the uh, periodic async volume to be synchronized. So push this again. OK, so I'll go ahead and pause it again. We'll wait till this one here gets synced up. Okay, so now our asynchronous volume, 62 here, so that volume is now in sync. Just took a few minutes, you can see here the, uh, gives you a date, if I can open this window out. Come on, the last timestamp for the replication. And then it, uh, it's got, we've got it set for every five minutes, so it'll replicate. So that's the setup. Um, just to show you all the links here, let's go to links. There we go. So this shows you that async link between B and C. Once it resizes here, so you'll see this link here. And this is important for our failovers because if we fail over A, um, we fail, let's say we fail A and we fail over to C then C can replicate to B, and C can replicate back to A once we recover. And I will do a demo on that in just a minute.